everyone. Welcome back to In Her Rubber Boots. Uh, if you're new, I would love it if you'd subscribe. I do videos like this two, sometimes three times a week. And today is going to be another adventure. So yesterday we had somebody come, um, a Mennonite person, and make cheese for us. So they bring a trailer and they process it right there at the barn. Um, it's quite industrial and clean. Um, I didn't video it just because they're Mennonites, so I thought that I would respect their privacy. Um, but I do need to process the cheese because they make it, but they don't process it, so uh, there's still a lot of work to do. And since it's kind of an interesting process, I thought I'd bring you guys along so that you can check out how we make cheese on the farm. So we've loaded up all our supplies and put it into the back of the van. I hope that I've remembered everything. So we actually arrived at the barn just as the milk truck was pulling in, so I thought I would just show you how this works. So it's actually pretty simple, they just put the hose through the wall there, it hooks up to the tank, and it sucks the milk out into the truck. And off he goes, he'll be back again in two days. Alright, time to get down to business. So this here is what the cheese is actually in. Um, so they've put it in each layer and then they have put it into this press and that's kind of like squeezed all of the excess liquid out of it and helped the cheese to set overnight. So I've set out all my supplies, hopefully I have everything. This is what we seal the cheese in and I will cut the cheese on the cutting boards over here. So we'll just get this opened and then we can take out the first layer. We'll just make a pile of this stuff because we will have to clean it all and return it back to the company that made the cheese for us. So this here is the lid on the cheese. So you can see that's the cheese inside there. And then I will just have to put this on the table so that I can get it out and then I can start processing it. So here's just a close-up view of what it looks like. It still has the cheesecloth on, um, so that's kind of what you're seeing, but I will take it apart and that way I can start cutting it up. Sometimes the worst part can actually be this part where you're trying to get it out of the molds. It almost like suctions together, and so sometimes you have to try and like break that suction to be able to get the cheese out of it. So now that the mold is off, I just have to get the cheesecloth off before I can start cutting up this cheese. So now I just need to cut the cheese into blocks that will fit inside of the bags that will go in the vacuum sealer and then I can get them all sealed. As good as it looks, I can't actually sample it because this cheese is not pasteurized, so it actually has to cure for two months before you can eat it. So even though this cheese is white and looks probably like it's mozzarella, it's actually cheddar. So in the store, they would dye the cheddar orange. Uh, we chose not to dye it, so it does look white, but it will be cheddar cheese. Did you know that it actually takes 500 liters of milk to make 125 pounds of cheese? Which is what we are doing today. So next step is to vacuum seal these. Of course we can't forget about Levi. I didn't have any childcare for him so we set up a playpen for him with some toys and of course snacks. Boy can this kid eat. So this here is the vacuum sealer. Uh, this is supplied by the company that made the cheese. Uh, it is really handy. The only thing is is that it is somewhat time consuming because you have to wait between each one. Um, so I do find that that's kind of what slows down the process. So I'm sure you're wondering what we're going to do with all of this cheese. Um, we're actually going to eat it ourselves. We'll uh, give some to the family members that work here on the farm and the rest we're just going to eat ourselves. I know it is a lot of cheese, but believe it or not we made the same amount last year and it took us one year to finish it all. Because of the laws in Canada surrounding raw milk, we actually can't sell this cheese. It is actually illegal uh, for us to sell it. So 
before you ask if you can buy any cheese, we definitely will not be able to sell this cheese to anyone. We actually even have to sign papers saying that it is for our own consumption only. The worst part about this by far is the amount of fridge space that is taken up by this cheese that we can't even start eating for another two months. A little bit of it will go to the family members, but other than that, that is my fridge. As you can see, Levi is only getting busier and busier, and he is very close to walking. Uh, he really just needs the courage to let go of that one hand, and he would be walking. Piglets are doing so good, it's hard to believe how much they've grown. Um, I've been working hard on taming them so they are eating out of my hand and they go outside to go to the bathroom. So they're coming a long ways, so now it's just a matter of finding them all good homes. After this cuteness, we are headed to the barn to help with some evening chores. So now that they're done milking for the evening, uh, the pipe that goes into the milk tank doesn't need to be hooked up anymore. So he's just changing that so that nothing could ever accidentally go into the milk tank. So now it's just time to change the filter that keeps any really tiny debris from coming into the milk tank. Now time to make sure that the milk tank is on so that it's cooling the milk and it stays good until the milk truck comes again. Now that the cows are out of the parlor, it's time to scrape the floor and after we do that we'll hose it down so that it's nice and clean for tomorrow morning's milking. He's trying to tell me that he was just scraping manure with daddy. He seems quite proud of himself. Well guys, that's all for today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I would love if you would give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. I would really love it if you would join the community. It means so much to me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!